Welcome back to Hack.5. I'm here to give you another code tip. This time we're going to go into some JavaScript. A lot of times it's a pain in the butt when you're trying to view pages or do some pagination really, really fast instead of doing those page requests. Well, I got a trick for you. Let's go ahead and get started. We are going to only use JavaScript and HTML. So we're going to uh, go ahead and create a function in JavaScript called show page or whatever you decide to do, and it's going to accept an ID. Next, we're going to create a variable that's going to have the total number of pages. Now, there's a lot of flexibility where you could change this, where it's set dynamically. I went ahead and set it to two since the HTML is only going to be handling two pages. Next, we're going to go ahead and create a for loop. This is a really cool trick when you're managing lots of pages or you want to do some pagination. Uh, instead of specifically hiding those div tags one by one by one, just do a for loop, hide all of them, and only show the one that you want to display. So that's basically the idea of the way that this code is set up. However, there's a lot of flexibility within it because you can set this stuff server-side if you're using Ajax, or you can set it client-side if you're just sticking with some JavaScript. Next, we're going to just go into our actual HTML, and I went ahead and created a very simple div ID navigation and set two links to say, click here to display page one or page two. Now, on click, we're going to actually call that function, pass it that ID, for this example, we have one and two, or you could dynamically set it, and it will call that function, hide all of those div tags, and then only display the ID that you sent it. So if I click page two, I'm sending the number two to it, and then it displays that page. Next, we're just going to go into uh, the actual style. It's going to involve very, very little CSS. The important part is you actually want to set that div tag to a, a style display none. None is actually going to hide the div tag on the page load. Then, when you actually call the function and set that div tag, you're going to put display block, and it actually blocks all of, the all of the styles of that page, specifically none. So that's your basic code tip of the day for some JavaScript. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you soon.